need something that's going to make a little hole in the center of the cookies. I was washing this for Stevenson. I can wash it again. Oh, that works perfectly. Hi Justine. Did you come back from a hunt? I did. I didn't have much luck, but I stopped by my garden and I picked up some beautiful uh, turnips I thought you might like. So all you hunted for me today was turnips? Yep. 
I can That's make all we're do getting that. today. I can make do. They're quite big. Come in here. Help me fix Smells like you're cooking something. I sure am. What are you making for that? Well, now they brought me turnips, it'll involve turnips. She must have had this knife sharpened. This is a lot better than it was the last time I used it. There's a bit of fat on here. Mm. I noticed you don't have any water in your dry sink yet. Would you like me to get some water? Oh, could you please? I would really appreciate that. What would you like me to do next, dear? Could you wash the turnips, please? Yes, I can. Since you're in such a helpful mood today, which I greatly appreciate. I'm always in a helpful mood. The summer heat has been getting to me. It's hard sitting in front of a fire 12, 15 hours a day. I really appreciate the help. You're welcome. It is quite hot outside, too. It is. doing quite well. In my absence, Candy went over there and fed them. Make sure they had water. She's a saint. Thank you so much for introducing her to me. You're quite welcome. She speaks highly of you as well. I sure hope so. Did I tell you about the fellow I met on the river? No, you didn't. Uh, his name was Giaw. Giaw? Something French. Oh. It, it was a Jeff off, oh, the way he pronounced it. I will call him Jeff. Okay. I cannot pronounce his last name. Uh, he was talking about St. Genevieve. Mm -hmm. It's about 50 miles south of here in the Missouri Territory. Mm. What about it? I'm thinking about it visiting one day. What's there? Good land that's available. If you go, can you take me with you? Yeah, I'd like to take you. I mentioned you to Mr. Jeff. What did he say? He said you have a pretty name. Aww. I said she's <laughs> beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You are a gentleman. I appreciate your kind words always. This recipe calls for two onions and one shallot. This is one of my go-to beef recipes whenever Lucy is craving beef. It's quite easy to make. It has a lot of ingredients in it, but once you all put it into the pot, you set it over the fire and forget about it for two hours. I think it's going to be delicious. I've only been able to actually try it once because normally I have to send it up to the table and it was very good. To make the dish taste extra fine, I like to fry the onions first. If I have extra time in the day, I'll do that before I add them to the pot. That's a good idea. Get caramelization on it.
fried onions, the room smells beautiful. I'm going to cover this with some beef broth that I made yesterday for a soup. Having leftovers of that is what helped me to plan this meal out. Could you please hang the skill up for me? Be careful, it's very hot. Yes. Trivet's hot too. vegetables below it and some on top. That's something my mom taught me to do. Into this I'm going to put a few whole cloves. You stole a carrot. You don't like carrots. I know you like carrots. I can afford to lose a carrot. I'm going to put in three whole cloves little bit of mace and I'm going to cover it with beef broth. Now we get a good wide fire and that cook nicely. a batch once a month. Vinegar. And port wine. Is there any of that wine left? There is, but it's costly. You want it to sip? Nah. That's a good answer. I'm going to cook it the rest of the way uncovered. Mm-hmm. 